Hello guys, it's Erzis here. Today I will try to teach you how to make your very own Supreme Bot, uh, which will let you cop your items almost every drop. Yay! Alright, so the first thing you need to do is you need to create a new folder wherever you want. Uh, I will make it on desktop and let's name it Supreme uh, let's just name it Supreme underscore B or whatever. Then you uh, then you need some kind of an editor, right? Uh, it might be Notepad. You can use whichever editor editor you want. It, it can be a Notepad++, but I'm just gonna use Atom because I'm really used to it. It has a lot of plugins. Uh, it has a lot of themes and stuff. I'm just used to it, so I'm gonna use this thing. When you're in Atom or whichever editor, you hit File, Add, uh, add Project Folder, then you go to the to the folder you just created and you hit select folder <clears throat> then as you can see it opens right here then you click on it you hit new file and now we need to create a new file uh, new file I will name it main but the ext extension is the most important part you need to type dot js which stands for JavaScript so now it's our new file we just created. So uh, let's start with some basics. I'm just gonna type console.log, open parentheses, and type hello123. And then I'm gonna do this thing, however it's called. All right, uh, then I'm gonna go to Google Chrome. I'm on the checkout page right now. I'm gonna hit F12. I'm gonna go to console and I like when the console is right here and now I'm gonna paste this code and when I hit enter the console is gonna log hello123 alright that was it about printing something to the console now we will get to actually making our bot so the first thing you may want to do we, just, we will start with just a simple autofill so, uh, as you can see, there are a lot of fields we need to pretty much fill. So, full name, you, you know, you need to type everywhere, right? But the bot is gonna do everything for us. So, when you want to enter something in the full name, we need to get the, get the ID of this box. View page source. Alright, and uh, we're just gonna look for... You hit F, Control F, Wait, you hit Ctrl F and you look for full name. And right here, as you can see, there is this code for full name. So, uh, hold up. Shipping information, input, true placeholder, full name, class, string required, type text, name. Oh, ID right here. So this is our ID order billing name so we get the ID by hitting Control C or copy or whatever and now we go to our atom we paste it somewhere and now we type document dot get element uh, hold up dot get element by ID because it's an ID and in parentheses right here it could be this these parentheses or these ones you just paste order billing name and you can delete uh, this first line. And now, when we paste this code into the console, what's gonna happen? It's gonna give us the the input box we just wanted, right? But you may ask, how can I change the value of it? Well, it's fairly simple. You just do order billing name dot uh, dot value is equal to, and now you en enter a value, John Doe, let's say, or whatever. You get your code, you go to Google Chrome, and when you paste it, see, it just filled John Doe into it, right? So it worked. You can fill whatever you want right here. And when you paste it, it's gonna fill right here. So that's how you make a simple autofill, pretty much. All right, but it's not very nice when we need to type like that so we're gonna make a new variable which will store the value so we just type var full 
underscore name. You can call it however you can't just uh, however you want. Just make sure there are no spaces included. So full name is equal to let's say John Doe. And right now, instead of typing this thing, we just set the value to full name, and it's gonna set our uh, our value of full name to our variable full name, which is John Doe. So we copy these two lines, we paste it, and as you can see, it works. So let's just keep moving. We go to our source. You look for email right here input email name order email oh see id order email so you paste it somewhere you copy this line get element by id value we can make a new variable call it email and let's say it's gonna be john at uh, though com or whatever and we're gonna set it to email and right now when we paste this code See, it's gonna fill uh, the information again. Just to make sure it works, we're pasting this code, and as you can see, the form gets filled pretty much. So let's keep moving. Now we're gonna look for telephone. So we type tell. And right here, ID order tell. See? So we just copy this code, we enter order tell value. We can name it however we want. Let's say it's going to be one two three one two three one two three. Don't forget about semicolons; it's very important. Uh, and we just uh, enter a phone right here. So when we paste the whole code, it's going to fill another field, and we can keep moving and keep moving. But you still need to hit this checkbox and hit process payment, right? So how do you do it? You hit right click right here. Uh, then you hit inspect and right here as you can see it says class I check helper So you take this name you go to atom or whatever editor you have and you do document dot oh, document dot get element by class name You enter it right here. You then type one and then uh, You just call click function on it and when you paste this whole code See, it checks the box. So now we need to hit process payment. How do we do it? You hit inspect on it. And as you can see, the name of it is commit. So now you do a document that get element by name. You enter this name. Uh, it's, at, it's at index zero, so we enter zero. And then uh, we call click again. So we take our whole code. We refresh the page and now check this out. And as you can see, the form gets filled. I didn't uh, finish the whole form, but as you can see, it clicks the pattern because it shows the error. So yeah, that, that would be it for this tutorial. Just a simple autofill. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more tutorials. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.